NAD has been the flavor of the month for a while now when it comes to supplements and that's because living forever is just very trendy. Now unfortunately it will not make you live forever and the jury is still out on whether it actually even makes you live longer at all but that hasn't stopped businesses appearing literally out of nowhere to create the most popular NAD supplements. Right now we have tablets, we have capsules, we have powders, we have gummies, we have the very famous injections. Whatever way that we can get some NAD into our bodies, someone out there is trying to make a product. And the biggest reason that this is a problem is because there is no way to tell if these are legitimate products. They aren't regulated and they don't get tested for safety or for effectiveness, especially if the only way to get a hold of these products is through a website. But I have discovered that there is one type of NAD supplement that does seem to have a bit more research behind it, and it is called Niagen. So today we will be exploring this and seeing as per usual whether the claims being made about it are true and what exactly the research has to say. So let's go. <laughs> So what in the world is niagen? Well, it is actually a form of nicotinamide riboside and a while back I did do a video on vitamin B3 and if you're interested in NAD then it's very important that you understand vitamin B3 because vitamin B3 eventually gives you NAD and so the easiest way to try and optimize your NAD levels is to first make sure you have enough vitamin B3 coming in from your diet. Now another name for vitamin B3 is of course niacin and what I mentioned in my previous video was that niacin or vitamin B3 comes in three main forms and they are popping up on the screen right now we have nicotinic acid, which is just niacin. We've got nicotinamide, and then we have nicotinamide riboside. Now, this third one is the one we need to pay attention to today because niagen is essentially a special form of nicotinamide riboside. So why do I say it's a special form? Because it's a patented form. A company by the name of Chromadex, I believe, they have come up with their very own formula containing nicotinamide riboside and they have actually gone and done some studies on this formula and they have called it niagen and made a product out of it. So I won't spend too much time talking about how exactly NAD works. You can watch my previous video on NAD for all of that. Um, hard to miss that one on my channel because it's the only video with lots of views for some reason. But if we understand that vitamin B3 or niacin goes through processes to produce NAD, then we can understand and assume that nicotinamide riboside does the same and that will be how niagen works. It is meant to increase NAD levels. That is at its core the purpose of a product like this. And NAD has become incredibly popular because it's essential for making energy, but also there is some evidence that it is important for DNA repair as well. So NAD levels will naturally decline as you get older, and that is why people love the idea of being able to increase it. Now, the thing I like about niagen is that trials have actually been done to make sure it is safe and that it works, something that most supplements do not have. So that's what we're here for. Let's look at the research. Studies and research on nicotinamide riboside have been going on for years. So in 2016, the first clinical trial was done. Here it is here. This study was very small. It only had six men and six women who were all considered healthy. Now these are tiny numbers in terms of research, but they were given three different doses of nicotinamide riboside. We have 100 milligrams, 300 milligrams, and 1000 milligrams. Um, seven days apart from each other. Then these people had their blood tested and the study found that the supplement increased NAD levels without giving serious side effects. Now, yes, technically this study shows effectiveness and safety, but just bear in mind, this was one dose that each person was given. Side effects may appear later on as you take consistent doses and six people, like I said, a tiny amount for a trial. All this study established here was that the supplement does seem to increase NAD levels in the blood, which 
is a good place to start, to be honest, because what this does is paves the way for more research. And that's what we got. A few years later, we got this study here, which had 140 people, uh, a much better number in terms of participants. This trial looked at healthy middle-aged and older adults. Now, they took this nicotinamide riboside, they took doses for eight weeks. Again, we had 100 milligrams, 300 milligrams, and 1,000 milligrams because these were already established to have worked in the past research. So the group taking the highest dose of the 1,000 milligrams had a 142% increase in blood NAD levels. Now, this study is important because the supplement that they used in this trial was the niagen form of nicotinamide riboside. So this is the specially formulated version of all the studies done I think this one is the most robust that we have so far. Now, I do need to point out before we move on that while yes, this study is very robust and of all the available evidence, probably the best study design, it actually was funded by Chromadex, which is the company that made this Niagen product in the first place. So definitely a bit biased and we do need to take that into consideration when looking at it. But I appreciate that they actually did research and put their product through trials to prove um, that it was effective and did what it said. They didn't have to do that. Supplements don't usually do that. And to be honest, no one else is gonna be around to fund this kind of research. It's not very popular and not deemed as necessary. So someone has to fund it. Yes, unfortunately it is the company behind it, but it is what it is. There have been actually 12 human clinical trials conducted with Niagen as of 2024. So that's just last year. And I will provide a link to them in the description below. Currently, there's actually about 45 ongoing studies. So this is a huge new area in supplementation. And honestly, who knows where it's all going to end up? I've got no clue. I still think it's too early. And at this stage, I haven't seen enough for me to want to give it a try. But I do think at the rate we're going, we'll get there. So yes, there is research out there. And it does seem to give decent results. But when the participant numbers are so small and the durations of these studies are as short as two months, we really can't be too confident in the results that they're giving. And also, none of these studies were conducted on people who had any existing health conditions, which means we have no idea if it's safe for people with chronic health conditions or other health issues. And we definitely don't know what long-term effects this has on a person's health. All we know is we can use it for two months. Now, there is one more thing I wanted to discuss, and that is the fact that these studies only seem to show you that the supplement increases blood NAD levels. And what I'm not sure about is whether increased blood NAD levels actually results in meaningful changes or effects for a person. So for example, can your body actually use this increased NAD in your blood or does your body just get rid of it? So naturally, I did some digging. And at this stage, there is evidence that yes, your body can use it because the researchers also look at mitochondrial action. So the mitochondria is where all your energy is produced. And there seems to be an association or a link between higher NAD levels in your blood and improved mitochondrial function. So that's as far as the research goes at the moment. But I would really love to see if people actually feel improved energy levels or something along those lines. So maybe as these studies go on, we'll get answers to these sorts of questions. And that's why at this stage, I think it's a bit too early to jump onto the bandwagon and start taking these products, especially if you have existing health conditions because the evidence doesn't exist. Now, the thing I haven't really mentioned so far is uh, cost. These supplements are not cheap. They end up costing around 50 American dollars a month. And when the evidence isn't quite there yet, I'm not sure if it's worth such a cost because it could really do nothing for you. But I'm not here to tell you what to do or how to spend your money. That's up to you. I'm just here to make sure that you're as informed as you can be before making such decisions. So there you go. If you've run into Niagen supplements and you were wondering what they were, hopefully now you know. Um, let me know if you have any questions in the comments and I will do my best to answer them. I'll see you in the next video and until then, keep playing the long game.